Welcome back to the Hybrid Network and another pass through Stephen King's It as we dissect and discuss King's classic horror novel in preparation for the new movie coming out in September. As I previously had mentioned in past videos, It is considered in some instances a cosmic horror where the two entities of creation and consumption, the turtle and It, were locked in an eternal struggle outside the far reaches of our known universe, deep within the far reaches of the macroverse. It believed beyond a shadow of a doubt that it and the turtle were all there were, that no being could be higher. That is, until it had actually managed to be outwitted and actually be hurt by the Losers Club. It was a new development, one that it couldn't comprehend. In its eyes, it was God. Nothing so below it could possibly hurt it, and yet, here these mere children were, fighting back and drawing etches into its skin, into its mind. How is this possible? As the entity awaits the children within the sewer, it stumbles upon a thought. A thought that perhaps there was more outside of it. That there was another. Another working through the children. No, conspiring through the children to destroy it. But it rationalizes this speculation as simply its newfound experience with self-fear, quitting it to simply an irrational thought. But as it turns out, it was on the right path. There's no for sure confirmation regarding this fact, but it's taken as a sign among the readers of the book that this other that it was suddenly so worried about could in fact be Gan, the all-powerful entity of the entire Stephen King multiverse, essentially being the god for all of King's works and fiction. It's believed that through Gan's power working through the children, they were able to summon the strength of will, the strength of their character to fight back against it, putting it in its place and ending its terrible cycle of death, chaos, and fear amidst Derry, Maine, working through the white in its purity. But there is so much more to know about this powerful figure. It is stated that Gan rose from the black, eldritch depths of the Prim, seeding new life and creating the multiverse from himself. Some say that Gan spun the universes from his navel, while others believe that upon rising from the Prim, Midworld broke off from the Entity and spun off into the infinite parallel worlds that make up the vast multiverse. As such, the Prim receded away, making way for the framework of the space-time continuum the six beams and the dark tower, the structure that houses and supports every world and parallel world and acts as the center point for all of creation. Some believe the tower to be the embodiment of Gan itself, as the sisters from the Our Lady of the Rose Convent state. It was even considered by Roland Deschain and Eddie Dean that Stephen King, the author, could have some tie to Gan, whether he be the entity or strongly be influenced by Gan, using the real-world author to spin the tale of the gunslinger, thus putting forth the events of the books that lead to the Dark Tower's safety. He is the pure embodiment of the White, the multiversal force that represents wholeness, unity, and health fighting against the Outer Dark, represented by the Crimson King. But, that's actually going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for listening, and as always, when we're dealing with these very lore-based subject matter, please correct me if I got anything wrong. Just, you know, again, keep in mind, I'm only human. Make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to the Hybrid Network to stay all up to date on all of our videos as they come out. My name is Luke, and I'll catch you guys next time.